What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple intro. Now just before I get into this video, like I say, this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now he has asked for a simple intro so don't expect anything too fancy, but here's an example of what I'll be showing you. Okay, so hopefully you like it and it's very simple to do and actually very quick to do. So the first thing we need to do is come to media generators and we're going to come here and we are going to look for legacy text and it is this one right here. If you don't have media generators or you can't see media generators or any of these tabs, simply come to view, windows layout and then select default layout. So once we are on legacy text, this is where you pick any text you would like depending on what background you have. These ones at the bottom you won't have because I made them presets myself. However, everything from combined three effects to default text you will have. So for me, I'm just going to use this one that says call right here and just drag and drop. You'll get this and now we can just put in the text. Now at the top line I recommend the YouTube name, so just uh, casual savage. Then of course highlight it all which control A and we need to put it down so of course it fits in the screen so probably about 50. Bit small, 75, bit too big. There we go, that's about right for me. Now if you want to make it bold, simply press this, makes it bold. Probably looks better like that. We're going to again, uh, going to make it smaller, so about 55 this time. Here, if we come to properties, you can change the text color. So uh, let's go for a red, since casual savage is a red. We'll go white and red, so we're going to have the white at the front and red at the back. You can see we can only change it, the white from here. In order to change the back color, we need to come to effects, and it's a shadow, as you can see. So we're going to pick red. Just like that, it's changed to white and red. Now, the next thing we can do, we can either make the text underneath now, or we can make it after. But I'm going to be making it now. So I'm going to right click here and insert a new video track. And I'm going to drag this underneath since it will be underneath this text right here. And this time I'm going to add on just some soft shadow. It's going to go underneath. And this is where I'm going to put subscribe, like, and share. Oops. There we go. And I'm just going to highlight it all and make it smaller. Way smaller. <laughs> there we go. And of course we can't see it right now, but we are going to position it. So come to the track motion, or of course you can use the event pan and crop. I'm going to use the track motion, you'll see why when we get into the animating. And then from here, just simply left click here, and you can press down on your keyboard. Just like that. And that will position it underneath. You can next out of this. And now we've just got to do the basic animation. Currently this is 10 seconds long, which should be long enough for the clip. So we're going to come and do the top text first. So we're going to come up here where it says track motion. And now from the start, it's going to be off screen to the left up here. So you're going to left click here and then just press left arrow on your keyboard to get it off the screen. I recommend using the arrow so you'll stay in the right position like that. Now if you zoom into your timeline and have this checked right here, which is called sync cursor, Come across and choose how long you want the text to take to come in. So I'm going to come to uh, 5 seconds. And then I'm just going to right click and click restore box. You can see that's just going to put it back in the position. Now don't worry, the animation has already happened. So you can see it starts off out and it comes in. So if we just play this through, you can see it's going to come sliding in. Just like that. Boom. Right in the middle. And now we're going to do the exact same thing with the bottom track, except for coming in from the right hand side. So again, we're going to come to track motion. And from here, we can literally just lay down a keyframe. Since we're already set at five seconds, the exact same time we set the casual savage text. And then at the start, this is where we push it off to the right. So left click here and just use the arrow keys to push it off to the right. Just like that. And the animation is completed, so if we play this through... As you can see, that has happened. 
but we can make it look a bit better. So again, we're going to be using track motion, and we're going to make it have a slow glide towards the outside, and eventually it'll go off the screen. So you can see it's 8 seconds, 3 seconds longer, and we are on the casual savage text. What I'm going to do is left click here, and just go right there. Stay right there, and then, where it's at 10 seconds, right there. I'm going to come here and make it go all the way off the screen to the other side. So just hold, 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 and it should be gone. Yep, there we go. And now we're doing the exact same thing with a subscribe, like, and share underneath, except for on the other side. So again, track motion. And you can see you just got to uh, find it, put it up here. Line it up with this one. And now we're going to put it at the exact same position just before going out right there. And then we're going to come to 10 seconds. And just throw it off the screen like that. Just keep holding it. And it will go off the screen. So now if we see what we already have, so play this through. They're both going to come in. They're going to meet in the middle. And then it's going to be slow right here. Like that. And then, boom. Off screen. Just like that is very simple to do. And if you want to change the speed of it. For example how fast it comes in you can see we have these dots right here so we can change it straight from the timeline and now you'll see it's going to come in much faster just line these up right now it's going to come in much faster and then it's going to have a slower glide in the middle and then just zoom off out so if we play this through you can see it's coming in fast and boom i think that looks much better looks like cinematic effects right there and then off they go Probably could be about 8 seconds long total, but for me, that's fine, and hopefully you like this tutorial. So that is how easy it is to make a very simple, but again, effective intro in Sony Vegas. Now for anyone that actually does like it, or is starting up a channel, and you want to use this one itself, then I'm going to put this link in the description where you can download it, and it'll be a template. To edit it, all you'll come to is this right here, Edit Generate Media. Change the name to whatever you want to, so it'll be your name of course. And then the slogan, it can be whatever you want, so I'm just going to put your slogan. Oops. And this is how you will see the actual template when you download it. So we play it through one more time. Just like that, it's got a nice cool effect at the end right there, and you can see zooming off right there. So that is how you make a very simple intro in Sony Vegas. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when you're posting and what you're posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, where I'll post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat, I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.